Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll do problem number 170 and 171. Problem number 170, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it, shall we? It says a two digit number is equal to four times the sum of its digits. So we have a two digit number which is equal to, which happens to be equal to the four times the sum of its digits. They go on to tell us that if 27, if 27 is added to it, its digits are reversed. Its digits are reversed. The question is, what is that number? Now before we continue with this video, I want to emphasize that you must watch these problems in the proper order, in the proper sequence. We learn the notion of a two-digit number being represented in the algebraic expression in the language of algebra very first time in the video in the problem number 65. Problem number 91 is when we did the similar problem one more time 111, 122, 168 and 169. 168 and 169 were the very last video that we did before this one. If you have not watched those problems make sure you, wa make, make sure you watch those problems first so that we don't have to keep repeating the same thing. So the question stands, how do we represent the notion, the idea, the concept of a two-digit number using the language of algebra, algebraic expression that is. For example, for example, we're just going to make something up here. Let's say for example, we have 92. A 92, 9 of course, 9 of course is the 10th digit. So if you're going to call this, if you're going to represent the 10th digit with T, and 2 is the unit digit, and if you're going to represent the unit digit with U, in the language of algebra, we're not going to represent 92 as TU. That's not going to work. Because in the language of algebra, TU simply means 9 times 2, which is 18. 18 is not what we're trying to represent. We're trying to represent, we're trying to represent 92. So this would be wrong. This is not how you represent a two-digit number. Let's, let's, let's understand what's going on here, shall we? So here we have a 10-digit number. We're calling it T, and we have a unit digit. Uh, ten digit, uh, a number in the 10 digit which, which we are calling T which of course is the unknown quantity we don't know what that number is and then we are, we are using letter U to represent what happens to be in the unit digit what we need to understand here is that what does this 92 tell us so if we have a number of 92 what does 92 tell us 92 tells us let's, 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 let's continue here 92 tells us 92 tells us that we have how many tens we have nine tens and we have two ones. Why two ones? Because that's the unit digit. That tells you how many units we have. We have two units, two ones, and nine tens. Of course, but the problem is this quantity is unknown. We don't know what that is. That is. This nine is unknown, which we are representing it with t. So it's t times ten. That's still this part right here. And again, we have the unit digit, but we don't know how many unit digits we have. That's the unknown quantity. This two that we have here is the unknown quantity. And times one. Now, times 1 is silly because it doesn't really do anything, but that's what it is in theory. And this is how you would represent the idea of a two-digit number. t times 10 plus u times 1. You can simplify this if you want. If you want to make it look, if you want to make it look, look a little bit better, you can simplify it, of course. t times 10 can be written as t, 10 times t, 10t, plus u times 1 is just u. And this is how we represent a notion of a two-digit number. This is all repetition from all of these previous problems. So let's begin. So we have a two digit number, which is this right here, which we are told happens to be equal to four times the sum of its digits. So let's rewrite this number, two digit, two digit number. Let's rewrite it here. 10 times t plus u, this is our two digit number. And that we are told happens to be equal to four times the sum of its digits. Well, sum of the digits is going to be just t plus u. That's the sum of the digits, 10 digit and a unit digit. And if you take the four times that amount, then 4 times the sum of the digit happens to be equal to the ex happens to be exactly equal to the number itself. That's our first equation. The second equation we need, of course, we need two independent equations we have, because we have two unknowns. We have the 10 digit we have, that we have to solve for, t, and we have a unit digit, u. Since we have two unknowns, we need two independent equations. The second equation is going to come from the second part of the, of the of this statement, which goes on to tell us which goes on to tell us that if you were to add 27 to it, so here's our, here's our original word number, 10 times t plus u, it says that if you were to add 27 to it, 
what would happen? The digits will be reversed. The digits will be reversed. Digits will be reversed. In other words, you how many how many tens do we have? We have t tens. Instead of t tens, we're going to end up having u tens. Plus, instead of having u u ones, u number of ones will have t number of ones. And this is the rever reverse of it. This so this will equal that. <coughs> we'll get to that in a second. Let's work on this one first. <coughs> Excuse me. Open the parentheses. We have four times u plus four times u t, and we have here ten times t plus u. Bring the t's over here. Ten t minus four t will be six t, and bring this u over there. Four u minus u is going to be three u, which means t happens, to, or rather, let's say u happens to be equal to two t. Divide both sides by three, and that's our first equation. We're going to use this equation u equals two times t. In other words, unit digit happens to be two times the ten digit, or Whatever the 10 digit is, if you take 2 times that amount, that's how many unit digit is. We're going to use that here. Let's work on it here. I'm going to rewrite this equation one more time. So, if you reverse the digits, if you reverse the digit, then we have u times u 10 digits plus t unit digits. And that happens to be equal to, if 27 is added to it, the digits are reversed. This is the digi reverse reverse digits. So if you have our original number, which was 10 times t plus u, if you were to add 27 to it, if you take our original number, two digit number, if you were to add 27 to it, the digits are reversed, which is what this equation is. Let's work on it. So 10 times u is just 10u plus t equals 10t plus u plus 27. Actually, I did not do anything here, did I? Bring the u to this side, 10u minus u is going to be 9u. Bring this, bring the 10t over here as well. Bring everything on this side, bring everything on this side. So bring 10t over here. So t minus 10t will give, give us negative, negative t equals 27. Since it's 27 and 9 and u, uh, 9 and 9 and 27, let's divide the entire equation by 9. And we end up with u minus t equals 3. But you know what u equals? u is right here. u equals so 2 times t. u is 2 times t. So let's put it in here. So we have 2 times t minus t equals 3. 2t minus t is, is equal to just a t. So t, 10 digit is 3, which means the unit digit must be, since unit digit is 2 times 10 digit, unit digit must be 63. So what was the number that they're looking for? The number that they're looking for is 10 digit is 3. So 10 digit is 10 digit is 3 and the unit digit is 6. 36 is the number. And it only takes a few seconds at this point to actually verify our work. Only takes a few seconds, which we're gonna do right now. So if you take it says a two-digit number happens to be equal to four times the sum of its digits. 3 plus 3 plus 6 is 9. 9 times 4 is 36, which is exactly what this is, you see? 36 equals to four times the sum of the digits, three plus six, which is what this is. A two-digit number is such that four times, four times the sum of its digits is equal to the number itself. They go on to tell us that if you were to add 27 to it, so if our original number, original number that we're claiming is that 10 digit is three, unit digit is six, if you were to add 27 to it, what do we guess? What are you supposed to be going to get? Well, let's find out, shall we? Six plus seven is 13, three carry one, and we get six. In other words, 36 becomes 63. 36 becomes 33 if you were to add 27 to it. The reverse, the digits are reversed if you were to add 27 to it, which is what the, which is exactly what the problem tells us. The problem tells us that if 27 were to add it to it, the digits would be reversed, which is exactly what we find here. That's our confirmation that our work is indeed correct. Do you understand? We have the correct answer. Let's do one more, shall we? Very similar to it, very similar problem, well, one more, just for practice, okay? So this time, we have a certain number, a two-digit number, that is, that happens to be equal to seven times the sum of its digits. So the four times, let's make it, let's make it seven times. And what I want you to do now, at this point, is to pause the video after I've given the problem, pause the video and do it yourself. And then they go on to tell us that if uh, 36, if 36, if 36 is taken from it, 
its digits are reversed. In other words, this time we are not being told a certain number is added. If you add a certain number to the original number, the digits are reversed. We are here being told that if you subtract certain number, the number that we are asked to subtract is 36. If 36 is taken from it, the digits will be reversed. As I said, pause the video, do the problem, and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in two seconds time. It's a very similar work, nothing to it. I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. So here we go. So this time, we have our two digit number, which is this right here, 10t plus u, which happens to be equal to, which happens to be equal to seven times the sum of the digits. So we have seven times, not, not, not four times, seven times. So this is going to become seven, this is going to become seven, bring the 70 here, it will become 3t, bring the u over there, it becomes 7u minus u will become 6u, in which case, in which case, t, if you divide both sides by 3, t will become 2 times u. We have just the opposite situation. So here, the substitution that we'll make will be for t, not for u. t equals 2 times u. Then they go on that if you were to, and if 36 is taken from it, if 36 is taken from it, this is our original number, two digit number, 10t plus u, if you were to subtract 36 from it, what do you suppose is going to happen? The digits will be reversed right here. So the story continues. So here we have 10 times u plus t equals 10t plus u minus 36. Minus 36. So let's, let's erase everything here. So instead of erasing bits at a time, let's erase. So, we, so since this is negative 36, we're going we're gonna to leave it like this here. Let's see how did I set it up myself here. Okay, let's, let's bring 36 on this side and bring everything else on the other side. So bring t on the other side. So 10t minus t is going to give us 90. As I said, we're going to bring this 10u and t on, on, on the right hand side and we're going to bring 36 on the, on the other side. So if you bring the 10u over there, u minus 10u will give us 9u. And then bring the 36 to this side which is going to give us positive 36. We have 36, 9 and 9. Let's divide the entire equation by... 9 and it becomes t minus u equals 4, but we know what t is equal to, t is equal to t u, or t is equal to 2u. So put it in here, t is equal to 2u minus u equals 4, which means u equals to 4. The unit digit is 4. So the unit digit is 4, 10 digit must be 8. This implies that 10 digit must be 8, because 10 digit is 2, two times the unit digit. Very good, 10 digit is 8, unit digit is 4, which means our number that we our number that we're claiming is 48. Our number that we're claiming is 48. 10 digit is oh 10 digits is 8, not 48, but rather 84. 10 digit is 8, so it's 8 and 4. Let's take a couple of seconds to verify our work very quickly. Seven times the sum of the digits. So if, if you take the sum of the digits, 8 plus 4, 8 plus 4 is 12, and if you take 12 times 7, what do you suppose we're gonna get? 12 times 7. How much is 12 times 7? Don't look at me. How the hell do I know? 12 times 7. Let's do it on the top. Oh, 12 times 7. 12 times 7. Well, I know 7 times 10. I know 7 times 10 is 70. And I also know that 7 times 2 is 14. It's 84. There you go. It's 84. The number happens to be equal to 7 times the sum of its digits. We were further told that if we were to take 36 from it, the number that we're claiming is 84. And we were told that if we were to take 36 from it, the, rever the digits would be reversed. Let's see if that's the case. 14, 14 minus 6 would be 8, and this would become 7, and 7 minus 3 is 4. What do you know? 84, original 84 becomes 48. The digits are indeed reversed if you were to take away 36 from it. Bye now.